blending two microphones together to make one hybrid microphone? What kind of crazy magic is this? You're listening to the dangerous mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. Hey everybody, it's Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, and today we're going to look at some uh, blended microphones, or what I like to call hybrid microphones. Now, what you're listening to right now is a VO hybrid that I came up with uh, not that long ago. Well, sometime last year. And it uses the 416 model mixed with the Tracy Corby 87. Now, the Tracy Corby 87 is a little bit thicker on the bottom end than your standard 87. So I wanted something a little girthy. I wanted something that had a little bit of uh, meat on the low end. And uh, what I got here was something that I'm not necessarily sure I'm going to use, but I find it interesting. I find the whole concept of taking two completely different microphones and blending them together really compelling and one of the coolest things you can do with the Townsend Sphere. So, for example, if I wanted to blend, like, all right, let's just take any two microphones. Let's, let's take the 47, all right, and let's mix it with a uh, 87 Vintage. All right, we're going to put the mix straight up at 50%. All right, so they're both, and as you can see here, you can adjust the polar pattern for each microphone separately. So right here, if I wanted to open it up a little bit more, get this in wide card, but yet keep this a little bit more focused, you kind of get this, right? Kind of neat, right? So you can do that, of course, across the entire spectrum of Townsend Sphere models, right? If you wanted to take a, a C12 model, and mix it with a vintage 87, right? You could do that, it's pretty neat. And not only can you do it with the regular sphere, right? You can do it with, here, let's show. Okay, hold on. Bear with me as I have the sphere turn. Okay, let's go to Ocean Way. All right, now here with Ocean Way, right? So here's an, a hybrid that I came up with real fast using their 269 which is a, a French broadcast version of the U67 that uses a completely different uh, tube. It's really the only difference. It uses a sub-miniature tube, and it has a little bit more of an extended uh, top end than, say, uh, 67 does. So I mixed it with the Ocean Way 47. They're both a little chunky here, so let's dial that back. Right? Not bad. Not bad. Now here's, this is really neat. So let's say I really dig the, the 47, okay? Let's say I really dig it. Let's, oh, here, well, hold on. <laughs> just, and I just uh, clicked off it. All right, so here, here I have it soloed. So this is just the 47. And here it is with the 269 combined. All right, but let's say I want to take the 47 and mix it with the core models in the Townsend Sphere library. So let's say I want to mix this now with the 67, the core standard 67. I can do that. I can mix the Ocean Way collection with the core collection. And I can really, it really enhances my ability to create uh, really interesting dynamic hybrid models. So I can mix the Ocean Way 47 with, the, you know, here is the Epic 47 that I believe this was modeled using the microphone that Alan Sides recorded uh, Frank Sinatra with, uh, maybe Barbara Streisand. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, I, I'd, I would have to, you know, hey, Google is your friend. But this is a storied microphone that has been used on a lot of really amazing famous people. And if I want to blend it with a really modern sound, right? So here, let's, let's give it a little bit more 47 here in the mix, right? So this would be the 800 soloed, and this would be blended with a 47. Right? Pretty neat, huh? All right. Here. Let's try. Where's the Putnam? Okay. Here's the Putnam. Okay. So here is a model of the Bill Putnam 67 with the Bill Putnam 12A. And this is what the 12A sounds like. Here, I'll put it in cardioid. Oh, they're both in the, there we go. And of course, this is what the 67 sounds like. And this is what they sound like together. Pretty, pretty cool, right? So again, you can use the Bill Putnam collection with the core collection. If I wanted to mix it with a 57, I could do that too. I don't know why, 
but you know what? You might find a use for it. Let's say I want to mix it with the core 414, 444, 14. <laughs> a little tongue tied this morning. So, right? I'm, I'm really digging this. So here, let's do 251. Let's give it a little bit more lean to the 251. Let's put this in cardioid. Let's actually dub. There we go. Subcard. Not bad. So this is interesting too. So if you are at all into voiceover. Hold on. All right, here we go. They already have some presets here for you. Now, the Brent Allen Hagel VO presets are hybrids. So this is using, okay, this is using Isosphere. So let me just show you what that is real quick. That's almost a totally separate video. Okay, so see, as you can see, he's got Isosphere and regular models. Okay, now what Isosphere does is it compensates for the space you're in. So here I am using the vocal booth compensation. If I take it out, right, you can, you can definitely hear the difference. So this just tightens it up a little bit more. And for a VO track, you, you kind of want it a little bit tighter, you know. So taking a little bit more of that uh, natural, reflective uh, ambience, it's very minimal. It's not, it sounds very natural. But a little bit tighter is probably better, uh, especially in this space. So this is the Brent Allen Hagel version for commercial. Um, all right. Uh, commercial copy. Uh, all right. Simply perfect results. That's what you can expect from us. Schedule easily online or by phone. Not home. No problem. Your estimate is done by satellite in seconds. Plus, our work is backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. All right. I kind of like it. This could be a little bit, uh, I think this could, you could really pump this to cardioid. Simply perfect results. That's what you can expect from us. Schedule easily online or by phone. Not home. No problem. Yeah. Eh. All right. So let's, uh, let's see what else Brent's got. Narration. All right. <clears throat> um, let's see. I don't have any narration. Oh, I'll just, okay. I know you're sick of Casey at the bat, <laughs> but I just know it off the top of my head. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville 9 that day. The score stood 4-2 to two with but one inning more to play. I like it. What does it sound like with the sphere off? The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville 9 that day. The score stood 4-2 to two with but one inning more to play. In that case, I kind of like it better with the isosphere off. All right, what, is it, what else? I've looked at these once before, but not really. Ah, uh, here's trailer. All right, so it's cutting. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. When the top ten hitmen face off in a last man standing. Okay, hold on. <laughs> when the world's top ten hitmen face off in a last man standing contest, bet on by the world's richest men, the only rule is to stay alive. All right. Not really digging deep for my trailer voice there, but uh, I think you get the idea. In a world, in a world where one microphone will give you many microphones. This microphone is a microphone. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's try it with isosphere off. In a world where one microphone is many microphones, this is still a microphone. <laughs> Sorry. I don't really do a trailer voice. I do a parody of a trailer voice. Uh, so here we go. What else? Okay. What does Jordan Reynolds have? Okay, Jordan Reynolds, his stuff is all, it's all one microphone. Are you kidding me? Have I seen this before? All right, so reduce sibilance, reduce sibilance. Hello, check, 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 666. Oh, I'm sorry, 666, 66, 6777, 66, 67, 68. All right, well, I, I don't know. Um, all right, hold on, what else? Strong and present. Oh, here we go. So strong and present. So lease a brand new car this month for only whatever you can afford at your local car dealer. <laughs> lease a brand new Honda Accord LX for only $2.19 a month at your local Honda dealer. Warm and intimate. Hi, 
It's just you and me. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, for Valentine's Day. Love. It's in the air this Valentine's Day. Get the one you love. Something that they'll really remember. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah. There's one thing that you can give the person you love. Chlamydia. No. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. So, yeah, this one I like. The other ones, I don't know. Wait, did he have, was the animation one really just one microphone? Model, okay, the modern 87 AI. So, yeah, I need some other VO pro to tell me to use a 87 AI on animation voice. All right, that is not that helpful. But, uh, okay, I see why it's at it. This seems kind of lazy. All right. Anyway, which one do we like better? These? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's just go back to the one that I created. How does it compare? Is it any good at all? I don't know. All right, here we go. So this is the one that we started out with. The 416 and the Tracy Corby. All right, I've already spent way too much time, but hybrid microphones are a really amazingly cool feature of the Townsend Sphere. And I think that when you really factor in what the sphere does and how you can really just play with, with sounds and get what you really are looking for, get the tonality you're really looking for, the endless possibilities of the Townsend sphere are just so tantalizing to me. They're so interesting. That's why I'm constantly tinkering with this. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment. What do you think of hybrid microphones? What hybrid microphones would you use? What microphones would you combine together? I want to know. Leave a comment. All right, everybody, until next time. This is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black. <laughs>